Hello everybody, how is it going? I'm not so great today, I have got Covid, so I feel pretty sorry for myself. Sorry about the echo, I'm trying to sort my Twitch stream out. So that... Oh, no, I don't want to watch, I want to create. <laughs> There we go, like the pro am, it takes me about 20 minutes to set the thing up. Let's go. So, yeah, not feeling great. I have just started coughing about five minutes ago, which is great. But yesterday I was so poorly I couldn't even be bothered to get out of bed really. Today I'm feeling a bit, I'm still not great, but I'm kind of lying in bed. So uh, I thought I'd do something straightforward and simple simple for me which is Sonic 2. I thought I'd run at the Emerald Hill and see how far I get. I want to try and get all the emeralds before I leave Emerald Hill. Who should we play as though? I'll let this sequence run. Super Tails is my favourite. Again, I've said it before. I think your favourite character depends on whether you're the first, sorry, the first or second child in your house. <laughs> I was always assigned Tails. I was always assigned Luigi when we used to play Mario. You normally end up as player two, don't you? However, the choice is quite a lot here. I think I don't run tails often on this because you can't get super tails or hyper tails. You get super knuckles. I might run Amy, you know. Uh, now I want to start a new game. Let's get all the emeralds before we leave Emerald Hill and then I've been feeling up to it. We'll run the rest of the game because that should take me about 40 minutes all in all. She's so little. She's definitely got, um, she's an interesting one to control because she's quite, um, reactive. She's not like Knuckles, who's that bit slow. Sonic's prom. Sonic and Tails are very similar, aren't they? They're much for muchness, but... Yeah, Amy, I would say, is closer to Sonic's speed than Tail is, and a little bit more, sort of, faster on the controls. I'm just trying to get my 50 rings together so that I can then get the first lamppost. I think I'll lose my bubble here. Oh, I didn't. That's good. Right, so the first lamppost is up here. Let's go. My tip for this, I tend to play with the D-pad when I remember. Stick. Actually, it's not so bad actually playing with the stick on these ones. Sonic 3 is the one where you have problems if you play with the stick, it doesn't always turn when you want it to. Doubting myself, blaming my COVID brain. The last few times I've attempted to do this to get all the emeralds in Emerald Hill, I've mucked it up like I've lost my rings or I've hit a lamppost one too far ahead. Because if you, whichever lamppost you hit, it knocks all the ones out behind you if you've not hit them. So you lose the opportunity to go into them for the special stage. There's eight lampposts all in all in Emerald Hill, so if you're playing it on the Mega Drive, which is tougher, it is a lot harder. Because you don't keep your rings when you come out of the special stage, you have to recollect your 50 rings for one thing. Um, but also on Sonic Origins, if you 
miss one, if you fail in the special stage, you can have another shot at it. You can have another go. You just use the coins that you collect. And when I say coins, I've not defaulted to Mario. If you look in the bottom left-hand corner, you collect coins rather than live continues, and you can use them kind of how you want. You can use them to... Um, like there's a museum and you can download different content from the museum using the coins. Let's get this next one post I think it's here. I say I think, I know where it is. I can remember where they all are on this game. Which is really weird because I can't remember what I was doing yesterday. <laughs> Not hitting these rings brilliantly. You want to go for the centre so you're collecting the rings on both sides when you're going through when they're doubled up like that. Miss those at the bottom there. That's a bit slow of me. Brother used to hate playing two-player mode on this and me, especially the special stages. Like it used to drive him batty when I would play on the verses with him when he just play the normal levels because I'd just watch his screen. It used to drive him mad because he couldn't watch mine as I was watching his. He used to be able to do that on like Golden Eye and stuff as well when I was playing with my friends. But on the special stages, yeah, just I was just a cow. Ooh, we didn't want to do that. Highly likely I will lose my rings trying to do this bit. The way these bad nicks are placed. I can't reach the oh, I thought I might be able to aim me. I'm gonna have to try and clear him. I normally lose all the rings and then I'm not running around trying to get another 50. Because I need to get rid of that. Coconuts. This is where the last. Oh! I got past him then as well! That's my favourite tactic now. I think we've cleared all the baddies in this area anyway. Yeah, so I'm feeling pretty rotten today. I'm just tired. I slept a lot yesterday. A lot, a lot. Um, I couldn't sleep at all the night before, like, had the chills and everything. Oh, it's just horrible. I was supposed to be at my cousin's hen party in Gloucester, which I was really looking forward to. My cousin's like my little sister. I've talked about before, she's the beekeeper. <laughs> the beekeeper who's got her own business, keeping bees. She's got like a national company, like a franchise. She's doing really well with it. She's an incredible girl. I keep calling her a girl as well, she's not a girl anymore. In my head, she's still about six years old. She's like 32 now. <laughs> she's my baby cousin though, you know how that is. Um, yeah, I was really looking forward to her hem party, but she's got lots of friends going. There was 18 of us sharing a, a like, little house in the country, like a manor or something, I suppose you'd describe it as. Couldn't 
is taking this there and then found out this morning that it's COVID so I'm so glad I didn't go because I would have hated to have passed this round to everybody but they're sending me pictures and I'm just really sad that I'm not there you know me I like going I like being with my friends especially my friends and my family and is one of my best friends as well so I'm feeling pretty crap But better than yesterday because I didn't even really feel like gaming yesterday so much. Which is not like me. You know I'm poorly. There's three things. I don't want to drink. That's number one. I don't want to eat. That's number two. But if I ain't gaming, then I'm not well. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let's go to Green Hill 2 where I can muck everything up. Green Hill, Emerald Hill. <sighs> wow. Let's do this. Let's do this right for once. Let me do a demonstration video where I do everything in the right order. Not look anything up. Like that. Bring that back, that's fine. Kill everything en route, otherwise it will inevitably kill me. You're alright with those coconut badniks. Just as long as you're directly underneath them. They can't hit you, but if you're just a little to the left or right of them, screwed. some rings in this wall and I can never fuck up the jump to get in there. Ever, ever. It's so rare I actually managed to do it. I have to go around the rest of the level and find them, but all the rings I need are there. Ugh. I can get in it when I'm speed running and I don't want to be in it. That's the time I do get in it. No, stop. Stop it. Normally what happens, I get in it at that point there. Right, so the first emerald is one that until about six months ago I forgot was here. I knew it was here, but it never occurred to me that there were eight in this level. Oh, there's rings up here, I forgot about that. I'm going to leave them in case I screw this up somehow. Let's get over there. I think I abandoned this last time because it was taking me too long. go did it so this is one of the hidden ones the first one that you can get into I remember getting stuck on this one for a long time as a kid I don't quite know why because it's not the hardest I think it tricks you a little bit. The best trick to do, you can see those loops coming, if you don't know where the gaps are, just jump through the loop. You're better off jumping through a blank space like that than risking it if you don't know where they are. Oh, this bit's horrible. And it takes you to slide off the side once you're mucked up. are most of the time on this one. I knew they were that side, for God's sake. I keep doubting myself. Uh, 
Oh, that's the third one. I thought I still got another one. Not with it today at all. Three more to go. We'll have them soon. Worst case, we'll go to the first lamppost we find in Chemical Plant. Should be able to get this. There's a special stage right below where I am now. But again, you have to get them in order. If I'd have hit that lamppost, the one I'm in now, first, the one behind me would have been um, dead then. Around there, I should be okay. I think the loop the loop thing comes here, which I'm not too bad at. Those are the bits that you need to be able to do. That is a lot easier with your um, the stick rather than the D pad. I think there's another massive one on this one that you have to loop like three times. If not more. Don't think there's any more bombs in this one though. I haven't missed it. God damn it, missed them. Yeah, those bits can be quite tough. If you miss the rhythm or you miss your start point you lose all them rings. That wasn't the best, but it was done. Right, special stage, that's what let's go down. Try and get, navigate these spikes, which will always catch me out. Oh. Thought she glitched then, she did a little bit. This is special stage number three. I will show you the next hidden one, because you can go for the one that's just before Robotnik. But if you you're better off trying to do them in order, like I said, because you don't want to miss one and then end up, you know, needing the Dr. Robotnik one post to actually get you to complete all the emeralds. I'll explain when we get there. Ooh, that was sneaky. That bit can be tough as well sometimes. that back there. want to try and get a good at least 10 above your target because if you hit bombs you lose 10 rings. It can make all the difference. Sorry for heavy breathing down the microphone. <laughs> I'm struggling. I need to do something though. I was going mad just lying there. I watched quite a bit of TV yesterday and catch up with my friends YouTube stuff. Um, I kept falling asleep though. I obviously needed the rest. Right 
here we go. He's good at taking all of your rings off you. I'm not going to go that way. He's just going to steal all my rings. I can take go the long way. I'll show you where this is. She says, trying not to get hit by, <laughs> hit by the spikes. Let's go the long way. Let's do it that way. It takes a minute or so longer to do this, so why not? Get a lot of rings in this one. I kind of want to leave some rings dotted about though because there's a lot to hit you at this so last um, lamppost. So there's a really nice loop the loop where you can get a load of rings here but you don't want to go on to it if you're going to get the secret lamppost. You want to hit this spring here which takes you to this island with all these monkeys. <laughs> um, now I'm stuck because <laughs> I don't want to get hit. Oh my god! Throw another one, go on. Oh, damn it! It's there, that's where I need to go to that lamppost. So I'm just going to polish these two off because I've got to do the same. So now I've got to go back to um, the big loop the loop. This is why I didn't collect the rings on this one, there's a reason to find some more rings somewhere as well, which I can do. There's ten there. I just need to find another loose three somewhere. Where am I going to find the last three? I'm kind of thinking... Is there a loop, a loop here that I've got? Great. There's a load down there that if I can get to them, I'll just go get them. Let's show them. Come back. You'll note that I'm being very, stepping very carefully here because I don't want to muck this up again. I'm running out of rings and I'm able to use. So again, same here. You can get this red spring at the bottom. I know it's a purple spring, I don't know why. If you're coming from the bottom route. monkeys are gone, thank goodness. And in obviously in Sonic 1, uh, Sonic 2 in the Mega Drive or the Genesis you've got a life here which is what just crashed. But this is the hidden lamppost in the next one. And this is the most ridiculous special stage. It's quite tight on this. You do lose rings. It's really tough to pull it back. And if you miss rings, again, really tough to pull it back. <sighs> Take that. I missed a chunk there. This isn't good. Because you need to get as many as you can in the first two levels on this. And I'll show you why on the third stretch. It's really tough. doesn't seem many to get, but you need it for the oh, I to use um, you need it for the last bit. So this is a bit where you stay on the left hand side for five runs. So one, two, three, four, and then five. Once you know that, it helps you in the last bit. We've got the rings, but you'll see why we need to be careful. It's like they're almost impossible to pick up. Obviously, do try and pick them up, and then there'll be a run of that. That's exactly why <laughs> you need to make sure you've got plenty of rings. Um, yeah, there's a run of bombs. And they put them on blind corners. Line dips and stuff. We did it though. Come on. Quite a short special stage that one actually. But we've got all the emeralds. 
and my painkillers are still not worn off, so I'm going to try and run this to the end, show you how to do it as a super character. We can make pretty light work of it. Shouldn't take too long. Let's go. That's the last lamppost, by the way, the one that I've just run through. That's the lamppost is great. Sonic must be the only one who's got two sort of balancing acts that they use at the edge. The rest of them just have the one. Cool tune, annoying level. Especially when you do stuff like that. Saying it like a Can I go down that way? Can, can't I? I hate these warp tubes because you never know where you're going to end up coming out. Some of them do send you to the same place, but sometimes you end up in a completely different part of the level. We're quite close to the end now, though, so it's all good. I wonder what that was up there. What was that? I bet Knuckles can get up there. With tails. I what it is. I'm going to regret missing that bit. I can see this now. <laughs> when you want to play as a super character, you need every single ring you can get. But I, I'm just lazy and I'll miss the odd one and I'll end up scrabbling around trying to find them. Best thing when you're trying to get a super character is to have a bubble. Just gives you that little bit of a safety net. We've got enough to uh, make this work now. It's 50 rings you need. I try, as a rule, not to activate um, Supersonic, Super Whoever, for as long as possible because your rings are constantly ticking down. Your rings are what power the Super thing. It's horrible when you're a super character though, trying to get over like this bit because they're erratic. The controls are erratic. Like, see, now they step straight back off there. This bit, this bit as a kid was like the worst. I do it without touching the water now, though, most of the time. <laughs> she says, damn it. <laughs> Erratic, erratic character, Amy. Now this Robotnik's really easy, but it can kill you quite easily as well because you end up falling through him into the water. As you know, when you play as Super Sonic, Super Amy, Super whoever, there's only a few things that can drown, you, uh, kill you. There's your off screens, so falling through to the bottom of the screen, drowning, you're not immune from drowning, and um, what's the last one? There's three things. Also, we're getting squashed. You can still get squished. Other than that, you're pretty invincible. 
There's only glitches in the game that get me as well. Maybe we've passed that before. But the glitches normally cause one of the uh, the ones I've just mentioned. Like you'll fall through a wall that you shouldn't fall through, or you'll get squashed by something that you clearly were not squashed by. Just three things up here, I think. Running to the end on this. Very short level that one. Unless you get stuck underwater, of course. So if you stay on this second one here, it turns into a little boat. A little float, I guess, not a boat. You float along here. I don't know what the purpose is. I avoided those rings there on purpose. I always get shot by the arrows if I try and get them once. Those, those bugs nearly, come, nearly always come in threes. There it is. I knew there was one missing. When you're not a super character, you can stand on top of them. That's the best way to kill him, the quickest way. You can just wait and jump on the um, the arrows that get that he spits out. But if you want to do it quickly, you jump on, get to the top of the totem pole and hit him. You can hit him three times as he's crossing, but just be careful because you can get squished by his hammer quite easily there if you don't time it right. I love this level. Thank you, Tails. That will do the job. Those things. I often get squashed by them blue boxes as Supersonic. Amy is a little bit shorter, so I'm not sure um, how frequently that happens with her, actually. I've not really ran her as a super character so much. It's probably the second time, actually. hate bits when you have to wait. Your rings are ticking down. in there because if this happens it takes super Amy off you I'll try and get out right at the end anyway now 
Yes, the trick is, if you can avoid them, don't be greedy when you've got a super character because you'll have all your rings taken off you. off to the left. I'll show you actually in case you missed that. I don't really want them. don't need them for what I'm going to attempt to do now. I'm just going to try and get um, rings in this slot machine. That is exactly what I wanted to happen. Perfect. Alright, we've got enough to get to the end now. Let's go. <laughs> the timing of that one was awful. Okay. I was so tempted to jump them, by the way. There's 30 rings down here as well, should you need those? Do I go the secret route? Let's try and get the secret route, which is this way. Might be a mistake because I get stuck here sometimes, bouncing around. That wasn't too painful. Cuts off a chunk of the level though, I think. I'm trying to say super character, because super Amy just sounds stupid. And it's not super Sonic. <laughs> and I often just refer to like Super Knuckles, Super Tails, Super Amy as Super Sonic, anyway. <coughs> Excuse me, but that sounded delightful down the microphone. Stop being sloppy, Tess. Oh my god, I was going back to pick up that one ring. Because I was being lazy. I just screwed myself over. And... a few times recently. It's not a route I used to go when I was younger. That fire thing's going to get me though. <laughs> Top of the screen there. Let me start. There we go. My favourite enemy is these ones. I love them. So cute. hidden things in Sonic and Sonic 2. That's what I love about it. Especially Sonic 1. Like, I found that one recently that I didn't know about. In the armor and mine was below. Always finding new things. Like, and I've spent a long time on these games, as you know.
you can use these as stepping stones as well once you've hit them on the head. Ah, the game's just installed. I don't know if that's popped up on... It shouldn't pop up on the stream, I don't think. I don't know, I've got my new Xbox, so I might not have disabled that. So, uh, I've downloaded Ghost Recon, um, the 2018 version. I used to play it a lot about 20 years ago. I've not played it for such a long time. I'm probably terrible at it now, but it was reduced from 80 quid in a flash sale to £16 for all of them. So I was just like, do you know what? I'm going to buy it. I will enjoy it, I know I will. I'm just not going to be as fast on it, I guess, as I used to be, but it doesn't matter. Give it a go. Yeah, Ghost Recon Jungle Soul on the PlayStation 2 was my first online gaming experience. And I just loved it. I made a few friends playing online with that. Back in the day. Stay on this second one and drop all the way down. Is this a life? Life's cool. So I'm doing that trick that I said about keeping this bubble for as long as possible so that I don't start wasting my rings, but we're at the end anyway, so we can go super in here. He is the easiest one by far. Although if you do if you do miss your time in there, you end up landing in the lava. Mystic Cave, aren't we? when the lights have stopped flashing. Amy, <laughs> she's that stupid thing with the hammer where she ran across the floor. So I will show you, I've just been having a debate <coughs> whether to run and go to the old Dr. Robotnik. I'll show you the hidden palace zones, which they added um, about 10 years ago, apparently, maybe even longer ago, and I never knew because it's in a place where I avoid because I am a bit of a, a perfectionist when it comes to stuff like that. So, for those of you that haven't watched one of my streams before or don't know, in um, Mystic Cave 2, there's a hidden level, which is the hidden palace zone, which was supposed to have been in the original Sonic 2 game, but don't think the cartridge had the capacity or there was a there was a reason why they got rid of it anyway. Um I wanna go to the bottom room. So if you've played it on the Mega Drive you'll know about the pit that you fall down and it's just there's loads of spikes in there and if you fall down there you're dead basically. 
even a supersonic. Uh, did that before as a kid, just wandering around on the spikes waiting to die. Um, but falling down there now, you get to go to the Hidden Palace zone, which they added in, which was kind of cool. I only found out about that probably about a year ago. Oh, Amy. That was me. Can't blame Amy for that one. I know those spikes were there and I still insisted on hitting them. Ooh, don't know why I jumped there. <laughs> Putting it down to COVID. <laughs> I'm gonna blame COVID for everything. Right, so here it is. If you hit, you pull that lever normally to get the bridge to collapse, but instead you want to jump down here. <laughs> There's a whole new level, and it still blows my mind. This is Hidden Palace. The music isn't right though. And it's <laughs> there's an argument. People argue it is. People argue that it is. But there was a sound effect. Oh, there's a spike there. Um, there's a sound effect on the sound select screen, which is number ten, which is music for a level, which was the hidden palace zone. However, this music is for the Mystic Cave on the versus mode. So yeah, it's a bit. Um, that's the only thing that I don't like about it, is I wish they'd just use that music. But yeah, when I fell down here, I'd watched a YouTube video on it, I was like, that bollocks that is, that, there's no way that's true. I need to get um, that activated before I lose all my rings again. Um, I was just like, there's no way that's true. No way that's true. But it was. get to Robotnik. He's really slow and tough if you uh, don't have Supersonic or similar. Very distracting. <laughs> Keep popping up the games that are installing. Here we go. This is the other robot now. Again, mind blown with this one. But we're not gonna give him a chance. Amy did that very well. So basically how you beat that robotnik. I didn't even give him a chance to blow his trombone. He blows his trombone. Loads of rocks and stuff fall from the sky, the water shoots up. Um, you have to get him to hit himself with a big spiky bomb that he drops. You just have to jump backwards and forwards until the water rises up and it hits him with it. But you have to do that eight times, so it's really slow. That's a hidden palace, though, which is pretty cool. Amy. Linking things she does. Oh, no. With her hammer, sometimes you hit the floor and she just runs along and it's cool if you can hook it up and make it work how you want it to, but it's more of a hindrance to me because I just can't hook it up properly. Oh, this level has one of the worst enemies in it. After... Um, Say those ones in the labyrinth zone that have the spinning spikes on them. Actually, no, the ones on the labyrinth zone aren't the worst. That's the worst enemy in Sonic 2. They just chase you around and spit those little tiny pellets at you. They kill you so easily. Um, it's the guy, the dudes with the spikes that spin around them, but not in the labyrinth zone. They're bad enough there, but on the starlight zone, it okay, chases you through the scenery. Um, they don't spit their spikes off, they don't throw the spikes at you, so they're really impossible to kill, you just have to avoid them. And they're always placed so strategically to make you lose all your rings. Through the bottom. 
his head sticking out there. I couldn't even hit him. I didn't need to hit that one. Where's that one going to take now? Probably where I've already been. You have to be so careful on this one, because if you jump into, like, I could jump into that one up there again, but it just sends you back around. You can end up doing multiple loops of places you don't want to. It's taking four hours to complete Oil Ocean. A little bit of a maze. Sorry, just having a bit of a coughing fit there. I hope I muted that in time. This is just not the nicest sound in the world, is it, to have a lot of down mic? that now before he follows me. So few rings. Like I've got every ring so far and we're on 23. <sighs> See, hate them. Absolutely hate them. Not often I get supersonic and oil ocean to be honest. I knew that was going to happen before I even hit him. I think we're at Robotnik anyway. This one's easy. Although it is harder in Origins, and I'll show you why. So, you used to be able to just hit him and hit him and hit him, but that last one, you end up stood on him for some reason, and then you die. <laughs> it's rotten how they've changed that. Don't like that glitch at all. Use my hammer on it. Oh no, it just makes it more bouncy. <laughs> we nerded it again! Yeah, I don't like that glitch. Not that it's a glitch, they've built that in for some reason. The explosion would be much bigger, wouldn't it? based on the fact that he's in a sea of oil. Right, Metropolis, and we've got Sky Chase, Wing Fortress and Death Egg. We're nearly there. Which is good, because I need to sleep. I 
hate those star things. Again, the placement of them is just... Whoever places the bad mix in Sonic games, there's a special place in hell for them. Like, seriously. See what I mean? I'll leave that in there in case I need to come back for it, but I doubt I can even get back to it to be honest. See? Look at that! Like... Rotten game. They're particularly badly placed in um, this level, but again, the levels get harder, don't they? That's the whole point. not got a super sonic or super aimy there. You're literally just like a sitting duck waiting to get spiked by things. There's a lamppost in that wall there. I'm not going to stop and get it because I don't need it. Well, she says I'll probably die now. These bits are always fun when you supersonic or other trying to land on them. Again, done. There's three acts to Metropolis. I think that's just because there's only one sky chase, one wing fortress. And then obviously the death egg. Oh, Tess, overcome that one. Get quite a few wings here if I do this properly. Probably throw me straight into a bad nick at the top here. Right, there's one here. Damn it! <laughs> Not enough height to get above that one. Again, the Tropos is another one trying to get Super Sonic, Super Amy is pretty tough. to get it now. That bit squashes you with Sonic if you don't duck. FYI. This bit is a bit hellish. And I've always fallen off here as super character. Yeah, there's a lot of rings there. negotiate those jumps sometimes. I don't even know if negotiate's the right word. I'm too tired to think about it. Did I say negotiate? <laughs> Not negotiating with them. Navigate? That's the bird I was looking for. <laughs> God damn it, I snorted when I laugh then. So, so attractive. <laughs> Right. 
So Act 3 is the toughest one to get um, um, to the end with all the rings. There's, it's a massive run to get to Robotnik. So if you can get there with a the bubble and enough rings, you can make it to the end as Super Sonic, Super Tails, Super whoever, Super Amy, Super Puss. But the problem is, you have to run up I think it's at least two of those big corkscrew things. The nuts and bolts screw things. And they're huge. So by the time you've actually run all the way up to the top of them, you've almost run out of rings. And then there's a massive wait to go to the actually get Robotnik. You have to go on this platform that slowly moves across to where Robotnik is. So yeah, I think it's done deliberately. So it's almost, if I get there and I've not got enough rings left, I'll let them run out and then pick up a couple just to make sure that I can do the battle okay. We are on 50 now though. Oh. I'm gonna activate it, but I don't really want to. There's not enough rings to warrant it. I just need to get lucky and collect all the rings that I can here. Without doing anything stupid and wasting too much time. Got that bubble, that's good, that's good. That'll give me a bit more confidence going into the end. As Knuckles, he's the only one who you stand half a chance of getting there with any decent amount of rings because you can bypass the um, nuts and bolts screw bits because you can just climb up the wall and it's really quick as Super Knuckles. Like he just flies up the wall basically. There. Like, look at the length of this one. The rings are ticking down the whole time. I want to have at least 20 rings. Running into him. See what I mean? But I have got that bubble, so I should be good actually. I should be able to do him. Yeah, if you don't have, if you're on 20-ish rings there, you struggle to do that one. Anyway, we're off to Sky Chase, which is my favourite level in all of the Sonic games. <laughs> I've still not managed to get Super Sonic or Super Tails, Super Anybody on this for a long time. And I keep saying I'm going to show you how to do it, but I always forget where the last bad is, or I jump too late. Being quiet for once because I'm actually concentrating. <laughs> I'd love to show you that it is doable to get a super character here because I can never achieve it on the stream. Right, now we go down past Wing Fortress. I might have got this. There's about six that come firing across the like little um, plane shaped ones. It's not advisable to play Super Sonic on this or Super Amy. I'm guessing they may have fixed the um, the glitch, but it was. Oh, there's another one. I 
one more ring. Is there one more ring somewhere for me to show you? There we go. They're doable, see? But, um, they run that fast that tails can't always keep up, so you end up jumping off the plane. <laughs> I've done it. That's the first time I've done that in a long time, so I'm pleased. Stand up here and let the game take over. See what I mean? She fell right off the edge there. If that had been me, I would have been dead. <laughs> Faster than the plane. <laughs> Glad she proved the point for me. So you know, not just talking nonsense. Right, to get the 50 rings here, you come down here. You can go this way, that's the long way. I'll show you the shortcut. You can do this as Super Sonic, or, or normal Sonic, you can go this route. Cuts half the level off. Jump through there. This bit is annoying. There's a life at the top of this little thing here. I've not got time, I don't want to waste my rings. Playing this for the first time when I was a kid was really tough before you learn all these little sort of secret routes. This is my favourite shortcut though, is the super character up and over here. Down here. Left, right, over to where I've got next. when you're not super angry. It's a special well, secret hidden life there, not a special one, but it's there. Through to Death Egg, which I promise I'm not going to speed run. I'm just going to show you how to do it. I'm already sat here grinning to myself because you know damn well I can't help myself but attempt to speed run this level. But it'd be nice to do it without dying. It'd be nice to complete the, the game without dying actually because I've not done that. I've not died, have I? I don't think. Let's go for that. <laughs> There's a little challenge. I'll probably run straight into uh, Metal Sonic here straight away. See what we can do with that one. Not speed running. Not speed running. We'll go for three hits there instead of four. See, I didn't even risk jumping through him in the middle and I normally do that. Then, aren't we? <laughs> Someone said about doing the speed dash here on his feet. It does work. But you only hit him four times anyway, so that makes no difference to the way that I do it. Yeah, that's no faster than the way I do it. It looks it, but it's not. Jump at a decent pace, hey.
we did it. There we go. And that's how it's done. That's no faster than the fastest time I've done it in. So this seems like a really long out sequence. When you play it as Sonic, you get all the little black and white pictures of Tails and his friends looking up the sky like, oh damn it, it's blown up, we need to go and find the hedgehog. <laughs> but when you play as anybody else, you just fall in like for an extra 10 minutes, it feels like. Yeah, I love this game. I'm so happy when I first finished this level. Because of course, when you were a kid, you had continues, you had your lives, but there was no replays, like, if you were dead, you were dead. On Sonic Origins, you can just keep trying as long as you've got those coins. Oh, look at the blue flickies. They shouldn't be the blue flickies, they should be the gold ones. Or the eagles that Sonic has, because we're super Amy. It's not even showing the fact that she's got all the emeralds here. That's what it does normally. I'm sure it does it for Knuckles too. Anyway, that's Sonic 2. Thank you for watching. And um, yeah, I'll probably be streaming a little bit more this weekend around my uh, Nana naps. Because <laughs> I'm really not feeling very well. I hope you are all having good we a good weekend. And um, yeah, I'll catch up with you all very, very soon.